Mark Evans from Downtown Music in Sydney, Australia. It's Gibson bass time. Now, this bass may look a little bit familiar to you. Uh, Gene Simmons used one of these in Kiss for, uh, for a few years. I think I, I was made to love you was, was probably, you know, the video at least was done with this. Gibson basses, well, Gibson aren't recognized particularly for their basses, but I've got to tell you, they've made a few that have been stand out. You know, you obviously think of the Thunderbird and the Ripper bass, which is another one of the this style bass and and this is this is a, a grabber bass, the G1 bass. Now they had some funky ideas. One of them was this that that uh, you can play along and the the pickup slides back and forwards. Now you won't really notice a lot of difference in tone, but if it gets a bit throaty back here, forward you get a bit more precision, like a bit rounder. But you split in hairs. Uh, this has got a, a, a funky headstock, like an arrow style headstock. It's a 34 and a half inch scale, so it's you know it, it's a half inch longer than the Fender bass, and it doesn't really feel. You don't notice that. You what you do notice is that the center of the bass seems to be a bit, bit back, like all Gibson basses. Uh, very very uh, easy uh, tone controls volume, just one volume one tone, sliding pickup. A, a large a large shape body, it's a bit a bit. bit plate like this this body but it's light it's made of older uh, it's it, it's it's a nice sweet bass to play and it's got sort of a sound halfway between a Gibson and a Fender but uh, th these, these are cool and uh, if you don't want to put a Kiss cover band together besides an axe bass which we also have one of those too um, this is your bass get your blood capsules out